Welcome back to the PCS Electronics test bench. Got a Magnum MS2000 on the bench right now. Uh, just running it back and throat, forth through charging and inverting. Um, this unit, along with some other MS2000s we've seen before, uh, you often get corrosion on a particular cable inside this unit. Um, and so that was the issue with this one was giving a false AC fault and that's because the feedback cable had some corrosion on it, it had to be cleaned and re replace the cable, clean the corrosion off in the areas of the connector. Um, now it's working just fine. So this one will go through a standard test of uh, loading it up to 2000 watts which is what it's rated at and uh, running it through the charge cycle right now it's at uh, bulk charging we're at 78 amps going into the batteries you can um, hear the fans are running pretty much full speed at this point um, on the magnum unit you can check your uh, temperatures Get this. Get the glare off of the screen here. Magnum, you can check the temperatures in the tech tech uh, menu. So the transformer right now, 37C, 100 Fahrenheit. Uh, FETs, 50 degrees C, 122 Fahrenheit. So the sensors for that, the transformer sensors right here on top of the transformer just glued onto the top and then the the sensors for the FETs are actually down underneath these compression bars that uh, press down on the transistors so right now right now in the charge cycle the sine wave you see on the scope, um, I'm not sure the camera's synchronizing with that very well. It's an old scope, old analog scope, so there's a lot of blinking when it's putting on a 60 cycle sine wave. But it's good enough for monitoring the sine wave. If I were to turn off the AC power, it immediately flips to the inverter sine wave, so that's the output from the inverter. So we're at 124 volts. 12 volts going in. One thing, another thing to note about these MS2000 is kind of unique to a lot of the magnum inverters. It's got a split phase transformer. It's got the primary on the left and the secondary on the right. Most of the transformers we see out of magnum, the um, primary and secondary are on top of each other. This transformer we've noticed uh, will run a little hotter than some of the other ones. Uh, the whole unit, in fact, will run a little hotter. Um, so on these units, we often recommend that you don't use the full 100% charge cycle. These units will get, and this is typical of, of magnum inverters, they get hotter during charging than they do uh, inverting. So if you have one of these units, we recommend that on the charging you go into your setup and go to the charge rate enter the charge rate and the, the, the factor defaults 80% um, we would recommend not having anything higher higher than 70 60 might even better. It just slows down uh, the amount of time it, you know, it increases the amount of time it takes to charge the batteries. But if you're not in a hurry, there's no reason to ram 100 amps into your batteries, uh, you know, and it just runs the inverter at a really high temperature. Just knock it down to 60, you push the button, see the arrow show up at 60, and it's set for 60% for now. And that'll run the current down. 
and you can actually see that happen if we go back to charging right now we're inverting so we're actually pulling 130 amps off 12 volts and running about uh, let's see I've got my switches here we're running about 1200 watts on my load box so I'll show you what happens if you change the charge rate let's put this thing back into charge do that throw my AC power on and then you see the thing switch over to charging Okay, so it's both charging. We're going to go into setup. Okay. So I'm going to back to here. Set up search watts. Uh, battery type, charge rate. Let's set it back up. I'm going to set it all the way to 100%. Okay, and then watch the current going into the batteries. So it's, it's putting 100 amps, 99 amps into the batteries. Now if we knock down this charge rate, back into charge rate, we'll run it down, say 60%. And you'll see the charger drop down. So now we're down 68, 67 amps. And that'll be a tremendous difference in the amount of heat that gets generated inside this inverter while it's charging the batteries. And it also keeps the batteries cooler while they're charging, which is going to lengthen their life. So if you don't need to charge it that fast, this is what we recommend. So that wraps up uh, this edition, I guess, on the MS2000. Pretty much it operates like any other Magnum inverter. And uh, it's a good inverter. Um, but we do recommend that uh, the compartments that they're in need to be ventilated. Um, these will... You know, our sub, sub, these are subject to corrosion like any electronic device if you get too much moisture in the compartment that they're in. Um, there should always be some airflow, some ventilation in the compartment to prevent corrosion. Um, this one obviously had a little bit on it and we, I think we caught it in time because everything else in this unit looks really clean so I think we caught it in time. And, this will be another repaired unit going out to a satisfied customer. So thanks for watching.